Hey everybody, welcome to Poolside with Matt and Cat. Hi you guys. So we're here in Los Angeles because uh, you know we had planned on coming down here, being together for this weekend regardless of what was going on, Amy Wise or not. Uh, clearly we weren't able to go to Amy, but strangers don't watch soaps do, so that's nice for them I guess. <laughs> you know, I think there was like a 40,000 follower minimum it seems, but whatever. Uh, but we got what I got. We, we, we went to Universal Studios. Universal Studios Hollywood, we rode to the movies, we got the special VIP tour, because that's what we do here on the 10th floor, we hang out VIP. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. We saw, we saw, we saw some sound stages, we saw Lopez versus Lopez sound yes, stages yeah. for fans who like that show. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else did we see? We saw, um, we saw King Kong. We did. Jaws. We saw Jaws. Yeah, yeah. Wisteria Lake, we got to walk out, I peed and re-bait, re 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 <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> Yes, yes. You know, the other times we've been to uh, Universal, uh, Wisteria Lane, well, the first time, the very first time, they were filming it. They were actually still doing Desperate Housewives. Yeah. Um, the second time that I went, Matt wasn't with me the second time, I couldn't go down that uh, boulevard because of um, all of, uh, they were doing commercials. They were filming commercials. And currently they film Never Have I Ever, or it had been until it was ended. Uh, with Mindy Colling, I think. I think that's the name of the show. Yep. But Mindy Colling used to say Colling that she was doing, and we're filming that on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's over now, though. And they filmed Ted there. Ted, oh, yes, Ted. Yes. Yes. Wisteria yeah, Lane, little... they currently filmed Ted there. One of those homes. Next time, if you guys watch Ted, you, you'll probably recognize this house from Wisteria Lane. You might. Just for half life. Yeah. Probably will. Uh, I apologize for the wackiness of my hair, but I'm a little, uh, Baked by the sun, and it does that to my hair. I could probably get a cut. That's just the LAPD doing the control. Actually, you know what? The last day we were in Disneyland, the last night we were at, in the, at the park, yeah. there was like, um, and I'm not saying this isn't a safe place because Disneyland is for idiots, but there were like choppers over the hotel, and they said, stop running. Stop Oh my yes, god. Yes, they did. <laughs> Stop running. But he was after the mouse. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. It was weird. It actually, uh, we had a window open, and uh, Daddy Key had to get up and close it because they they kept on saying, Stop running. And we're like, Okay. I'll go ahead and close that and be safe. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we just hanging out. Of course. You know, we hung out. We had a good time. Uh, we're sorry that we're not on the red carpet. That would have been fun. But we had a good time anyway. Uh, so we're treated like VIPs, you know, all of the rides, you know, mummies, you know, coasters, that sort of stuff. Uh, the dinosaurs spit on me. That was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a thing. That yeah. was a thing that happened. Yeah. Uh, thanks Almost to Almost everything spit on you, actually. Actually, a lot of stuff spits on you. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to Ursula. Uh, Ursula, shout out to Ursula, who's our, our personal tour guide for the group for the day. She spent eight solid hours with us. Yeah. So that was nice. Hi, Ursula. Yeah. Hope you're yeah. watching. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, while, it, while, we're, while we were doing that, um, GH was winning all the Emmys. So, so the far, General Hospital. So you far, know, I, mean, I mean, Young and the Restless walked away with a supporting uh, actress. But a supporting actor, writing, directing too, actually. I just saw a directing Oh, well. directing too? I believe so. I could be wrong, but it's I believe right. yes. so. I mean, we'll do a proper cover. Are they going to... They might win show like they did last year. I mean, if it's and a, the year before. If you're and the year before. Okay. Like, I understand that there's a lot of people out there that think GH sucks. sucks. And, uh, you know, it probably sucks for them. <laughs> you know. But if we're going to go by Emmy Awards, it doesn't seem to suck for the industry. So when it comes to the peers recognizing how good GH is, uh, they're definitely winning all of the awards there. They're, they're getting the attention. And I hate to break it to you, and this might be a little mean, but, but they're the ones making the choice as to what happens on this show and if it's on the air, not you. So, oh, true. I true. think they're true. <laughs> they might be in a good spot. Well, we saw that Lou Gossett won, not yeah. Lou. No, no, Robert. No. Robert Gossett, we saw that Robert Gossett won. Um, I'm, Again? I'm, they're probably done with all of them by now. But yeah. uh, Robert Gossett, we saw you know, the writing team, directing team. Uh, uh, I mean, clearly Allie Mills didn't win. But that's okay. They've still got two back-to-back -back Robert Gossett wins. Yes. And then if Van Dyke won. Dick Van Dyke, yes, of course. The most obvious guest star winner of all time. 98 right years old. Dick Van Dyke. Actually, I think that if he wouldn't have won, that would be a shame. 
It would have been a riot. I would have rioted. Yes. Yes. No, he deserved it. Absolutely, he deserved it. I love you, Matt, though, for your. I love him, Matt. But he comes back, actually. He has to come back before yeah. he's done. Before it's too late. Yes. You know, he has to come back. Uh, I don't know, man. Now he's actually, English. because you're seven months ahead. He might have already came back, and we don't even know it. That's how the Professor Angela likes to talk about it. It's like they've come and gone by the time their first episode mm -hmm. even goes. Um, yeah. But, you know, we'll see, because Ron, Ron's back. He's yes. in. Uh, I also saw today as well, as reported by uh, Errol on Twitter. Can't remember his outline right now. Uh, but he's the same guy that does all the ratings, mm -hmm. Errol. Uh, he reported that Dan O'Connor, former head writer for General Hospital, has moved over the days of our lives to go write for them. I don't really? know. I don't know what capacity. I don't know if he's in a big role or a little role, but he's now employed by Days of Our Lives. We'll be getting some of their stuff. So I don't know if he's a dialogue writer, a breakdown guy, a co-head writer for Ron. I don't know the extent. Well, they worked together before, that's for sure. They because Ron used to do DH, right? Yeah, but I don't know if Dan was on the staff. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, maybe not. I, I don't know what the plan is, but apparently that's what's going on. Now here's the fun part, though, Mom. Dan O'Connor was someone that accepted the Emmy for General Hospital's win. He was writing that stuff. Yes, that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's odd, isn't it? Kind of. a, I mean, it's a little odd, but also at the same time, we know someone who accepted an Emmy while not being on the staff because he was a part of the team when that stuff was being done. Mm -hmm. And was a major part of it and all that other stuff. So, I guess it's normal. I don't know. We don't know nothing. I don't know anything. From the 10th floor, we never do. No, it's too high of a view. I can't see the details because mm -hmm. it's just so, so high up there. Ah. That's his forehead. It's a little steamy. Is it? Steamy, steamy. I should have gave you sunscreen earlier. It's all good. I'm fine. It's just a little tan. It's nothing bad. No, I do buy that. I don't take care of him like he needs to because he's grown. He's grown now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. But I did can give him some sunscreen for his face, for his arms because. Right out there, right? Uh, Nintendo Lane. We went to Nintendo Lane at Universal Studios, folks. Don't wait until they paint the ground a different color. Oh my god. Okay, so it's bright ass LA sun. Yellow floor. It is so bright. It is so hot. Also, there's so much movement that if you are somebody that is bothered by so being, being overly stimulated, then, then, uh, then Nintendo Land is not for you. You know what? They have no trees in Nintendo Land, mm -hmm. just like the game. Because there's no trees in Super there's, Mario Land. Yeah, there's no trees, so you are vacant out there. Yeah. Vacant out there. Yeah. Also, yeah. but also, thing for shade, you gotta go to a store or on a ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but it is vacant in there, and today, you know, it's in the high 70s, high for the day here. Not high 70s. Really? I can only 70s? Yes. Yes. Can you imagine on a, you know, 95? Next week. I don't want that. Next week it's going to be hot here. I don't want hot. that. I don't here. want that at all. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. So, you know, we did, we did uh, the VIP, so we skipped the lines and yeah, all that. Yeah, that's nice. We got to skip the lines. It was super fun. It was, it was easy, easy. So we did everything. Everything at Universal aside for one ride. Yeah. They didn't take us to. I think it was two, uh, we one show and one ride. So it was uh, the Kung Fu Panda movie. Yes. Uh, basically a special, I don't know, Kung Fu Panda part 3.5 or something yeah. that they had there. They didn't take us to that. And then it was, uh, the ride they didn't take us to was... Um, uh, Simpsons. Simpsons ride. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. We've actually been on it before, too. We've been on it, too. And then... Some years ago. When, when years it, ago. When it comes down to it, folks, really, that Simpsons thing is like the oldest thing they got in the park now. <laughs> I mean, I know the mummy. Um, Maybe the mummy's older. I, I don't know. No, Simpsons about came the same before time, it. right? Yeah. Because uh, they had a mummy and still Brendan Fraser. Yep. You know, uh, then they got, uh, they got the, they, they updated Jurassic Park to Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. Is what they did there. Uh, and so they got, uh, they got Chris Pratt on it and Bryce Dallas yes, Howard. Yes, yes. Rather than uh, Jeff Goldblum. But who, I miss Jeff Goldblum. Chris Pratt. What's yeah, the son of a gun? Because yeah. in Disneyland, he's all over the galaxy, too. He's just all over. All he's over all over the galaxy. Well, he's all over Hollywood is what yeah, Chris Pratt is. is. You know, and, uh, he, what he did, he, he sold his soul to the devil. Is what he did, I think. <laughs> and then he's like, I'm a Christian. So, you know. And a Kennedy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Give him a moment. <laughs> Won't be long before.
before he runs off his hero, uh, Corey Matthews is running for office. Really? Yeah, right. yeah. Ben Savage for, uh, down here in LA for, uh, uh, he's trying to, maybe not LA. Are you trying, trying to, to fill, supervisor or something? No, he's trying to fill one of the U.S. House representative seats for the state of California. Oh. Well, Ben Savage. Okay. Which to me explains why he turned his back on his co-star a couple years ago. Oh. He finished Boy, boy a Girl Meets World. Conversation, and this is interesting, Ma, that you didn't pick it up. She 
called uh, uh, LGBTQ People Alphabet Soup. Yes, she did. She said they're, they're flighty people. Yes, she did. She, she gave a bunch of reasons why she, she does not want it. It ventured away from what we were originally analyzing as the show mom who really wanted to have a lot of control. Mm -hmm. And she has now moved it into the realm of true homophobic tendencies. That's what uh, I saw on Wednesday. Yeah, there you go. See, see, good. She did notice. <laughs> yes, okay. I did notice. I did notice. So, so, uh, the I mean, outfit suit, really, I know. Yeah, so that's the, that, that's, that's the same intention and idea, though, of continuing to watch the show to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it wasn't the original portrayal, or portrayal of the character, I don't believe. I believe even Eva, Eva LaRue did a, a interview where she's like, it's, it's not that. It's something else. Mm -hmm. But we have new writers now. And they decided it was something else. Mm -hmm. uh, so just watch the show. Take it as it comes. You know, mm -hmm. don't just don't don't hurt yourself over it. No. I'm not saying you're gonna hurt yourself, but don't hurt yourself over it. Natalia will figure it out soon. She will. So here's she the thing. She don't have to. Or it's her daughter. It's June. She's the bad guy. She's the villain. Uh, there's well, lots of been questions of is it appropriate you to have this story this month? Yes. Yes, it is appropriate to have this, this story this month. It is not the month of, 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 of rainbow and, and fairy dust. No. Do you know what happened? Do you know why June is gay pride month? No. Because this is when Stonewall happened. So Stonewall was a thing that happened in New York. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. No, it's because there's, there's, a, whole, there's a whole movie about it and everything. Okay. Um, so Marsha P. Johnson was a, uh, was, I think she was trans, uh, but way back in the 70s, you know, all that. Marsha P. Johnson, very famous for throwing a brick through the Stonewall Inn and starting a little riot that really opened up the eyes of law enforcement in a big way to how they are treating homosexuals. Legally and all that. Okay. So socially, the, the Matthew Shepard dragging and all that stuff, that was not cops. That was regular ass people. But when it comes to like law enforcement, this whole Marsha P. Johnson brick through the stone wall in that sort of stuff, legendary for starting the conversation. Starting it's like it's like the the Montgomery. I don't want to call it the Montgomery but bus boycott, but in the same vein, it's like that same thing that started mm -hmm. a revolution, or at least yes. a, a, another look at it. Yes. So that's why June is being has been chosen as Gay Pride Month. All of that to say. This month, this, this Pride Month didn't start because of rainbows. <laughs> it started because somebody stood up to homophobia. So there's really, like, it's not it's not the time for, for Aiden to be on his first date. Oh, oh my God, I love you all. <laughs> like, that, sure, there's room for it. Sure, yeah, yeah let's yeah, do it. Yeah. But that's not the only thing that needs to happen. That's not the only thing that's allowed to happen during this month. I'm happy for the story. And truly, I want a good, well-developed, well-thought-out, fun story. I don't care what year it is. What time of year it is? I agree. As long as it's good. I agree. I agree. Good. But I really do hope, since I since I've now learned that from you, yeah. I really do hope that Natalia, as a character, mm -hmm. has an epiphany, mm -hmm. a realization, you know, a change of heart, a change of mind by June thirtieth. I don't know what the timeline is. I don't know how long they're gonna go with it, but um, yeah. let your villains be wrong and have them learn from it. Yes. Uh, I, I think that, like, our generation of, like, just, like, my generation, like, I expect the bad guy to die at the end of movies. I expect him to die. The bad guy will die. And that's from, that's from <laughs> Snow White, yeah. Cinderella, mm -hmm. uh, Jafar from Aladdin got trapped in a lamp. Eventually he gets killed in the Aladdin tube. Like, I expect the bad guy to die. And I think that that affects some 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 uh, some of the soap villains, you know, when it comes to to, to, to figuring it out, huh? understanding it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. being with it, you know, going for the ride is because they're like, well, when are they gonna get theirs? When are they gonna get theirs? When are they gonna get theirs? They might not ever get theirs entirely, but they might learn. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Maybe 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 Eloy shows up and he's like, hey, ma, I want you to meet my boyfriend. Oh, that kid's the wrong one. Come on, nobody gets for me. <laughs> 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 I want Grand Children. You don't understand me, Lloyd. Actually, you know what? I was thinking, because, you know, I don't know what they're doing with Sunny going forward for the rest of June. Mm -hmm. 
are they going to, you know, maybe, maybe part of redeeming Sonny will be helping Natalia. It's possible because he had to go through his own little journey, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I mean, it wasn't a big epic journey, but he no, went through one. But he did. He still had to be like, you know what, this thing isn't so bad after all, are you? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were all bad, but no, you're not bad. No, I just, it's my daughter. And you know what would happen? Because I, th- I could see this. Yeah. What could happen is with this realization, with helping Natalia, with all of this, he is, she is his new love interest at the end of it. Oh yeah, unless, at the end of it. Oh, now here, here, here's the thing. Too, and though. help him get it all straightened out. People, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with it too because I think, uh, I think, I think if, if they wanted to go the oh, they're actually Alcazar's route. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You know, Natalia, the secret Alcazar sister. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. That would be something. He would be so conflicted, wouldn't he? I don't understand what's happening. Yeah. Here. How are you, Natalia <laughs> Alcazar? <laughs> I'm all for it, actually. That would be kind of fun. And then everybody gets to be that, uh, that, that blaze, you know, you know, but, the, the, the alcohol nonsense again. Right, but we don't know anything because, you know, we thought that there should have been this list. So we're writing things that... Danny is dead. <laughs> so we're writing things that may not be no. written. Well, no, yeah. Well, that's what we do here. Yeah, we do. Uh, and then, oh, so uh, another thing that happened that you didn't see yet was uh, Jay, Jay has some goon friends. Really? Oh, yeah, some, some just like... Like clearly, they are like bad influence kids. Not, but not like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that? Man? Whatever that means. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> but not like you know, like uh, they're they're not like uh, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> and, like, you know, graffiti this. But they're like I don't know what to tell you. No, Dan, it. Dan is the one that has a bike. The bait. Yeah, well, it's not, yeah, so it's not that. It's, it's, it's not like, that. It's like they're, it's like they're, it's like they're greasers. <laughs> what? No, I don't know. I just, like I, from Greece? No, 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 no. Like greasers. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know what that is. You know? Oh. Uh, um, like. You know that? You <laughs> <laughs> see uh, um, It's like, uh, gee, goodness gracious. I, like, I feel like they're going to steal something, you know? Like, like they're going to okay. knock over a, a Best Buy. Oh, okay. You know? But then they're like, talk over the Best Buy because they want the PS5. <laughs> yeah, it's not because, ooh, we're going to sell the VCRs or like like Dominic Toretto did to Fast and Furious. Reference I'm only making because I was just at Universal Studios. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently he's got some ne'er-do-well friends that, that might be sending him down the path of the dark side. However, so here's the thing. Here's more plot for you, Ma, that you're going to watch when you get home. Okay. All right? Finn, drunk off his ass. Meet Again? Some, yes. Meets a woman named Beth or something. They are about to do it like mad. Aww. Jake and his goon friends, a scene, then leave the bar with this bimbo, apparently, right? Oh, and boy. he goes, hey, Ma, I need you to go to Finn's house. Oh, wow. And Ultimate goes, okay. And I guess she's going to walk in on him and see some stuff next week. Ooh. Here's the thing, though. Here's the next thing. over? I mean, if they weren't already over a couple of days ago, they're over now. Um... On top of that, Jake makes another phone call, and this is the surprising one. Hey, Dad. Really? I need your help with my with Ben. Wow. I think, I think Elizabeth might have been too busy to go right away or something, so he called Jason instead. Oh, my gosh. That's different. It's a little different, but here's the thing. This is a great opportunity for Jason to mess it up. Or fix it with his Or kid. fix it. Now, we'll fix it. here's the thing, again. Different writers. So we'll see. I don't know. I mean, that that could be some of the instability and DH that people are talking about. But again, we haven't seen it yet. So it could be any number of dramatic things that isn't what people are saying it is right now, Mm -hmm. which is a change in the story. It could be very well be just the next page in their story. Mm-hmm. Where he's like, hey, Dad, I need your help. Jason just a walks chapter, in. right? Yeah, just a chapter. Jason walks in and he's like, oh, well, this has nothing to do with me, Jake. He's like, you don't love me. And he flips the table. You know, like, <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll finish off the week before Sunday, though, because you're going home tomorrow. Yes. Which means we'll have a Sunday. Yes. A normal Sunday podcast yes. at yes. 9 a.m. for Days for yes. Dummies, 11 a.m. Yes. for General Hospital. I have two days of GH left to watch, yesterday and today. I have four days of games to watch. I've only watched Monday. 
recommend only you watch two of those days. I'm going to watch all the days by Sunday. Well, you have to watch all the days by Sunday, Smug, because this one is good. Maggie, we're going to get married, Maggie. We're going to get married, Maggie. <laughs> you and me, we're going to get married, Maggie. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful together. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to kill you, Tumblr. <laughs> You gotta watch it. I can't wait. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Maggie. Because I want Maggie. Oh, Maggie. I want Maggie to take my spot. I want Maggie to take a bottle of champagne from her wedding altar, right? Smash it against the bar. And start stabbing Constantine with it. I rub it off on you, Matt. Wash. <laughs> I rub it off on you, Matt. Wash. He likes the violence, doesn't he? <laughs> If it's the ultimate death of Constantine, maybe. Uh, and then also, you gotta watch uh, uh, Billy Billy Flynn, uh, Chad. Yeah. With a gun. Oh. I'm gonna kill you, Clyde Weston. I'm gonna kill. Oh, you won't kill me. Well, I don't really want to kill you, Clyde Weston. You killed my wife. Did I? Did I? Did I kill your wife? Is Abigail still alive? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? Tell me what you know. But you know what? I will watch. You know what? All four episodes. I cannot wait. What? And Slum, where is that girl? Uh, out of town. Oh, she took off. She's out of there. She's out of there, huh? She's out of there, and they posted an article saying, Thank you for your time, Slum. Goodbye, actress. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, she's okay. out of there. Uh, half the audience, uh, some of the, listen, I can't say the audience because I only, I only look at Twitter, really. So the Twitter audience is unhappy with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, the sudden, just like, oh, I'm out of there. And it goes back down to the same dang thing that comes up a lot. This woman deserves to be in jail. Well, I don't think Sloan really, I don't really agree with that. Uh, leader, Melinda does. Not, oh, Melinda does? Melinda <laughs> took that. <laughs> Dimitri gave Melinda the baby and said, you gotta take this kid to the hospital because I can't be there. They're gonna arrest me. And she said, okay, Sloan, you want a baby? Uh-huh. Melinda should be in jail. Yeah, they actually should share a cell, actually. I think. I think. It should be roommates there. Yeah, yeah. But, no. Sloan. You know what? I don't know, you guys. I always hated her wardrobe. Oh. That, like, uh, I always felt like she was wearing 90 without the, the nightgown. <laughs> like, she was just sense. wearing, like, a, you know, like a, uh, like a robe uh -huh. without the nightgown. Yeah. Because it all seemed to be the same kind of dress, kind of. You know? The wrap thing and the tie, yeah. she looked like she was wearing a nightgown with the robe of a two-piece without the nightgown to me. Okay. So, <laughs> seeing her in jeans, being yeah. looking kind of normal, I kind of liked it. Oh, well, that's what you thought. She skipped out of town in jeans. Okay. Well, wore the jeans, she said, you know what? These jeans were made for walking. <laughs> I think Melinda's going to get hurt, though. I don't know what's going to go on next with Days because they're wrapping up the stories. Mm -hmm. Don, they're on stack. They're wrapping up the stories. Mm -hmm. um, Constantine's pulled a gun at the wedding. Oh, my God. With Gwen as a hostage. And what? Gwen, Teresa. With Teresa as a hostage. Oh, wow. Like, you know what? You do that all the time. You just like her as Gwen. I just think of Gwen all the time, yeah. Yeah, you do. I think of Gwen all the time. Uh, it's just makes this go win to me. What are you going to say? I've never embraced her as Teresa. Yeah. And part of the reason is I don't know who Teresa is. Like I do now. Like right I, now. I, 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 yeah. I, I'm yeah. still trying to yeah. But like the whole, like with the other, and then the other Teresa, and then it was like the other actress, right? The backstory of Teresa was before we started watching. Yeah, I know this Teresa. I know post drug Teresa, adult fake take Teresa, mm -hmm. the, the 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 will swapping Teresa, mm -hmm. the Teresa that was in League with Constantine. We know Emily Teresa. Yes. And then on top of that too, I guess um, I guess oh, this is going to be disappointing to you. So I hope they change it again. But also it's six months, right? Uh, Kristen is not so into Alex anymore. Well, she, I she just she kind of went. I, I, all right, Alex, I, I got what I wanted from you. Yeah, she did. She yeah. did. I actually saw a preview of that. Okay. I saw a preview of that, and he does not know what to think of that. No. How can I not be desirable to me? What do you mean, no coffee? No, we we did it. We've done it three, four times. I, that's 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 all I really I, like. I wasn't planning on like <laughs> like I just wanted, and then like and then a, yeah. and when we were done a couple of days later, I was like, that was cool. That was moment. fun. Let's like, come on, Alex. I want to touch your muscles again. <laughs> and then eventually, you just stopped having those thoughts. You know, you, she she got she got it. She got what right. I wanted. She did, but 
He is not used to that. No. Alex feels like he is super designed by all females at all times. Uh, to me. <laughs> she does not love me. She does not like me. Uh-huh. Man, I'm so handsome when I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm so fuzzy. <laughs>